Okay, today I am going to teach you how to draw your own bird and it's actually a parrot and I'm going to share with you some of my artwork because I really love painting parrots. It's one of my favourite subjects. Um, this is a very simple way of doing a drawing so you can see I've actually lightly sketched because um, what I want to do now is go over it with Sharpie and then you'll be able to see how we do this. You will have the um, handouts and also the PowerPoint will show you step by step how to draw your parrot and you can create um, and embellish it your own way. So how I did this to begin with was I started with my paper going portrait which is this direction and I want to start up here and in the centre and the very first thing was I basically did the shape of a, a bell really, brought it round and then very simply I just did scallop lines. Now that I'm drawing it over my pencil lines I can improve upon those lines that I did as well. I'm going to draw in his eye and just curl it round like that, very simple. And then his beak. Now parrots especially have really large beaks. This one isn't too large but it's going to hook like that and then underneath inside just a little bit you're going to curl it back like so. For his back, bring his back down and I'm just going to stop it there because what I want to do is actually come up here and then curl it round and create the wing because the wing comes out just a little bit more because of all those feathers and I'm just going to scallop those edges there for his feathers and then I'm going to bring down just in just ever so slightly from that bell shape of his head and bring it across and then this is a little bit of a line that creates his thigh I'm going to actually to add more detail I'm going to scallop this a little bit more because their feathers do layer and I know my handout is very simplified but as I said you can actually create it and add more detail to it as you go along I'm actually going to bounce across this line because I've already sketched in very lightly a branch so his tail feathers are going to go behind that branch so let me show you how I've done that if I do this you can see I've actually created another small branch that comes across like that so I know that that's wood just by doing that and um, tail feathers beautiful long tail feathers and then his, his claws, he's got these little nails that stick out like that and you can make his skin go like that and then these little nails and then I'm going to show you how to overlap because that's it but then he's going to have another one here and it's overlapped and it's gone right behind. Then his other leg, I'm just going to create another toe and his like wrinkly skin there. Let me finish off this branch. And again, the branch is more of an organic line. I like to twist my marker sometimes because then I can get more of an organic shape. So if you see what I'm doing here, I'm twisting and you can create these circles and bends, all nice organic shapes for that nice branch there. So what I want to do now is actually take the markers and this is where you are going to do exactly the same thing with your markers in each area and the negative space I want the whole paper filled with vibrant colors is to not color it all in but actually to use the markers to create patterns so an example would be so if I take I'm going to take a blue and an orange I'm actually going to do complementary colors on here and if I sca scallop little U's there's a pattern going on there and I'm going to continue that in a bit but then if I wanted to on top of that if I do crisscrosses and hatches and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to fill in the whole paper with a multitude of designs and patterns and patterns are one of the principles of designs so I'm going to continue, you're going to be able to see how we progress with this and you're going to be able to experiment with your own parrot too. Mm -hmm. 